Hello and welcome back to another video. So I came into work the other night only to find on my desk a large plastic container. In that container was one of these, a Nintendo Wii. Now I had one of these back in the day when they were released in 2006-ish. Um, when I say ish, I don't think I got one when it was released. I think it was just a short while after. Now with this came a Wii Fit board and Wii Fit and something else called can't think at the moment. Another fitness thing anyway. I've given them to my mates because I don't need them. This is the Mario Kart pack, as you can see on the box. So, games included with this. Obviously, we have Mario Kart. I bought that separately for the girlfriend because she never stops playing it on the Switch. Zumba Fitness 2. Uh, Michael Jackson, the experience. I don't know what kind of experience we're talking here. Now, back in the day, me and my little lad, he's no longer little, he's now 20. We used to play the Wii all the time together. And we completed one of these games I have in my hand here, and it is absolutely brilliant. Res Evil 4. This is our original from back in the day when we played it. Also, we played this game as well. Godfather Blackhand Edition. And this one, I don't mind saying how bloody awesome this game is meet the robinsons so these are three games which i have kept ever since me and my lad when he was a young nipper was playing this and uh, today i'm just going to revisit some of these games before we get into it um when i plugged it into this telly i used composite and it was all working fine the actual console was in really good condition just a bit of grime here and there needed a bit of a wipe down there was no nunchucks involved in the box so obviously i bought them separately from amazon bought myself two new wrist straps as well why not and i also bought this so i've done a bit of research online and someone said that these are pretty good now this cost me about four pound off ebay and when i originally plugged it into the telly behind me i've got a screen just like that i messed around with it but i just couldn't get the screen any bigger so I went downstairs and we got a big 55 inch telly and it was actually on 16 9, 16 by 9 on the Wii and I had to check as well and it was on 480i. So I plugged this in and it instantly fired up and it gave me a good full screen. I had a little mess around with it, I changed it from 480i to 480p and the picture went nice and crisp. So we're going to be playing it today via this HDMI adapter. Um, and also, we're going to be revisiting games which, well, three of the favourite games, three of my favourite games from back in the day, were there, which me and my lad used to play. I've got other games sort of on order. Um, I think there was a game called, well, yeah, I know it's, it's called 13, but it was XV111 or something like that. Bit of a cartoony game, ended up on the Xbox as well. Uh, I remember having a like a Chinese sword game as well. That was kind of like um, cartoony as well. So we didn't have a great sort of library of games. Um, we just sort of like, it was mainly kids games and stuff like that. And I just got these for myself, these two adult ones, should we say. And uh, he just sort of played it. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna be playing it on this telly behind me because I don't wanna play composite. We're going to go downstairs in the living room, a much bigger space, a much bigger telly, and probably be harassed by all the cats as well. And um, yeah, we're just going to relive these games from back in the day, which me and my lads used to play. Uh, before we get into it, I'd like to thank a good mate of mine called Rob for donating this Wii. Thank you very much, my friend. It will go to a uh, very good use. So without further ado, I will see you downstairs. Just waiting for little Robo Hoover to go home. Can you not get in? Yeah. Come on, you can do it. I think these things are a bloody pain in the ass. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Righty-ho. 
So um, let's turn the Wii on. Have we got the right source selected? Um, there we go. Where are we? There we go. HDMI three. Um, I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but it's a pretty, pretty sharp picture in my opinion. What we're going to do first is we're going to whack in Res Evil 4. And also the Brucey bonus of this one is it can tape GameCube games as well. As you can see there on the side, you have a little door for four GameCube controllers. Never had a GameCube really back in the day, so I've got no memories of a GameCube, so uh, we're not going to bother getting any GameCube things. Rightio, so... Resident Evil 4. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pick off, well, I'm going to pick up where this... Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up. So I'm gonna pick up where I last sort of left it. I have played this since I've had the Wii, so it's saved uh, a couple of percent in. As you can see, you don't get the full 1080, you do get like a, is it four, well it's 480. It's 480p. Um, should we load the game? We'll load the game. Right, okay. a much much better picture than the gal composite one some memories of this game I tell you I do keep meaning to get it on the Xbox I just haven't bothered um, have we gone the wrong way I think we've gone back on ourselves here Quite funny back in the day though, because uh, when me and my lads used to play it, he was only, I say, I think he was about three or four maybe. And uh, absolutely brickety. Uh, what have we got here? You kill them cows, can't you? Whoops, I do apologise. Any vegans watching? Right, um, where do we go? I don't know. I think I'm on the right track, I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go, yeah. Whoops, what's this? Well, that didn't bloody work. Let's have one more go. As I say, we're not going to be doing any playthroughs, it's just purely for me, just for nostalgic. Nostalgic, nostalgia purposes. Uh, so, we're going to try that one again. Oh, 
Right, okay, let's proceed. The controls are actually, they're not bad, they're not the best. But I suppose uh, I'll get used to them again, I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, these little sorts of, whoa, 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 so you aim, and then you don't actually, well, you go and get aim like that, but you've also got to use a nunchuck as well, which is quite annoying. Um, Uh-oh, is he throwing more dynamite at me? Oh, shit. Ah! He's a little bastard. Where is he? Like it. Jesus. It is quite a, um, an eerie game, should we say? Oh, I need some health. Can I go in here and get some health? I'm going to die, aren't I? I know I'm going to die. I am going to bloody die. Oh, hey. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Where is he? There you go. Have that, you little prick. Do I have any health? Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have a lot. Them eggs, you've got to... I don't think you need them eggs. I've collected a few eggs there, but... No. So I think, yeah, that's it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Still there. Still hanging in. Still hanging in. Still hanging in. Oh, there's another dynamite knob here. <laughs> Where the fucking hell is this prick? Where is he? Uh oh, he's somewhere behind me. Oh, come on, not good this one, mate. I don't want gold, I want friggin' health. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's it. I must be dead. Right, so that was Res Evil 4. Now on to The Godfather. Cracking game, but also bloody very hard. Right, here we go with the Godfather. As I say, I've got this on PS2, and uh, it's just as good on there that it is on, it, on here. Right, so, uh, connect the nunchuck to the Wii remote. Yes, I have. 2007 electronic arts, wowza. <laughs> Someday. Someday, and that day may never come. I may call upon you to do a service for me. Until that day, accept this as a gift. So this game was pre-GTA 5, and at the time, I introduced my lad to GTA San Andreas, and he absolutely bloody loved it. And then this game come along, and he was, well, he thought it was GTA, but just as good. So we'll have a, we'll have a new game. We're, just, we're not gonna bother with the ins and outs of it. We're just gonna have a little bit of a trip down memory lane today. If I do remember rightly, the start of this game is actually quite sad. Uh, 
I mean, graphically, that is bloody, bloody amazing. Good week, huh? Yeah, some high rollers. I'm going to celebrate tonight. It shows a bit weird as well. Grab and then do that to punch and stuff like that. Some bloody memories coming back here. Some bloody memories. I don't think we, well, we, we didn't complete it. We got quite far, and uh, I think we just moved on to another game then. But yeah, brilliant game. Absolutely brilliant game on the way. So you move the camera with that, which is the the D-pad if you want to call it. Uh, lock on is Z, which is that. Oh no, Z is that in it. And then, so it's yeah, the controls a bit fiddly at first, but you do. Go. Uh oh. Sorry, Johnny. It's just business. Give it to him. Oh dear. Let me skip this. It's quite sad. Oh dear, he's dead. Right, let's just flick through this very quickly because, um, tell you what, we're done. Play a game. Sorry. Name Aldo. Play a game. Uh, so, no, I'll tell you what, my name can be. Um, actually, yeah, I'm just going to put my name in as Tui because I am going to start a new game. Done. There we go. Let's get cracking with the knacking. Incidentally, the Nintendo Wii, you can get them now for as cheap as chips. But when this thing called COVID hit and lockdown hit, you couldn't get the Switch for love and the money. These things were the next best thing. So these were going for like 100, 150 pound on eBay. It's crazy how the whale works. It's just really weird. Uh, can we skip this? I need to skip this. Right, okay, so the first mission is the training mission. Obviously, you do need to have some training on this game because the controls are a little bit weird at first, should we say? So I'll put the centre bar down here. Let's see you move. Nice, okay, so lock on and flick. Pull 
Ultimately, your punches can use both hands. Charge the attack. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, Take that, you little prick. I want to see your moves, kid. Okay. Uh, I to cross the Corleones. Grab. Okay, and okay. then. Lift him up. Yeah, that was. Keep him grabbed and let him have it. So these controls are freaking. You picked the wrong friends. Keep us grabbed and go to town. Yeah, now. Yeah, pick them off. Nice, okay. My name is Luca, Luca Brasi. Remember me? I was a friend of yours. Thank you, now. I remember you. What are you doing here? Looking for you, kid. The Don, Don Julian. He wants to make sure that you're safe. There's quite a lot of cutscenes in this game as well, if I remember. Good little workout, though. Are you talking about the Don? You should be asking, what are you going to do for him? Right, what we're going to do, I'm going to end that one there, and I'm going to put Meet the Robinsons on. So that one's complete. Welcome to the family. Movie unlocked, film archive. Right, okay, let's have Meet the Robinsons. Do you know what? If it wasn't for me lad at the time, I probably would never have bought this game and played it. And uh, I'm glad I did, because it is bloody fantastic. When's it from? It's from. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't even see properly. Right, so I did start playing this the other night just to get things moving. So I think I'm just, I'm at, literally at the very start of the game. Uh, let's have a new game. game. Can we skip this? Nope, I don't think we can. Turn that down a little bit. That's a wee bit loud. So this one is ancient Egypt, the first level, and you have got to run like a bat out of hell. Controls again are so your your motion controller 
move your camera view and then you obviously move with the nunchuck as well. Yeah, that just automatically vaults over it. Again, I don't ever think, well, I don't think we ever completed this game. But we did get quite far. Bloody awesome game, awesome game. This one was a bit fiddly. Gonna sort of work your way around up to the top. But it's been a few years, so you'll have to excuse me. Gameplay. Stand back a bit because the motion control, if you get a bit too close to it, it doesn't really work as well. So you've got to stand. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to die. So you have to use your side button there to slide. Huh? Oh. Well, I'm gonna die. Too slow. Too slow. See the camera angles are a little bit Yes, I'm gonna die. Right, okay, I'm not I'm not gonna bother playing that. Let me just try this again. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna take quite a lot of getting used to this. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Tap A and then move the control. Yeah, I know. There we go. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. Uh, I don't think so. Because I'm going to need loads and loads of practice. Oh, 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 I've done it. Oh, hold on. Come on. Uh, there we go. Oh, I might have done this here. I might have done it. Or have I? Something else happens here, if I do remember rightly. Um, right, so I think you need to move this statue, if I remember. Okay. Um, yep. So get my hands on it and push it over. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, grab. Grab, 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 grab. Now leg it. Now leg it. Oops, hold on. Game on. Has he done it? Has he done it? Uh oh, one last thing, one last thing, one last push. Oh, what way am I going here? Hey, have I done that wrong? No, it's okay, should we turn the, so we can turn the camera around maybe? Right, okay, I'll, I'll end that there. I've got one last little trick up my sleeve to show you. Uh, you've probably seen this before, but I am new to this, so and this has blown me away. Right, so a mate of mine the other day said to me, hey, have you ever played a Nintendo Wii with two candles? And I was like, you what? 
He said, yeah, unplug your center bar and light two candles either end of your telly and you can play the Wii without the center bar. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna light these candles first. Obviously the cats are nowhere to be seen because I don't really want the cats jumping up at the telly when this is uh, when these are lit. Right, okay, so there's two candles either side of the TV, as you can see. There's one, there's two. Now, so the center bar is still plugged in. And we're gonna unplug the center bar from the back. And now, There we go, look at that. Wowza, that is bloody amazing. Let me just get that again. So apparently all you need is something at either end that sort of transmits infrared light. Now I'll just move that sensor bar out the way, just so you know I'm not cheating. Turn it upside down. And there we go again with the two candles. Move them a little bit closer. Cats are scratching to get in here, but you've got no bloody chance, kids. Here we go. All buttons work as well. Here we go. It's a bit scatty, but bloody hell, it works. Absolutely blown me away. Now, you're probably sitting there watching, thinking, well, we've known about this for years, but I never, so yeah, absolutely blew me away. So if I hold that like that, right, and if I move a candle out the way, like that, see it goes off. So you need to be, I think, quite close together. Yeah, so move that one over there. So that put me, yeah, that's, that is amazing, that. Absolutely bloody amazing. And while the camera's still rolling, just so you know, the back of the sensor bar is there. So there it is, unplugged. It's upside down. And I'll just show you one more time. Okay, let's get them close together. Here we go. I wonder if you'd actually play a game. So that's a say. Let's just move, keep it straight and move that candle out the way. And as you can see, it moves. Put it back. And we've got a source of maybe reset it, I don't know. No, anyway, oh yeah, here we go, the back, here we go. There we go, just slightly off there, but yeah, there we go. 
dead sensor. Let's blow the candles out and see the hand disappear. There we go. Gone. Come on, cats. Come on, go up on your little pedestal, mate. Come on, up there. Up. Right, so as always, cheers for watching. Now, plans for this console are also going to be, I'm going to soft mod it. So I'm going to put some Spectrum games on it, Atari games on it, and whatever I can fit on it on the SD card. And it's going to sit here and be a part of the collection, as you call it. So, as always, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri!